Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving another great geometry puzzle. A circle with radius r and a quarter circle are inscribed in a quarter circle with radius 1 as shown on the left. Find r the radius of the circle. Okay, go ahead and pause the video at this point and give this problem a try first. Okay, now the only thing we know here is that the radius of the larger quarter circle is 1. And we got to find the radius of the circle, which is r. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the radius of the smaller quarter circle first, because we're going to need that in our calculations. Okay, so this is going to be the center of the quarter circle. So if this is x, this is also going to be x. And if I go ahead and draw a diagonal here, if I kind of make this type of connection, or I guess we could call that hypotenuse of this triangle, right? We could just go ahead and make this connection here. Okay, let's see. It's just acting up a little bit here. Okay, so if I go ahead and connect those, well, up, I'll probably just do it this way. How about that? Okay, so that connection is going to be the hypotenuse, which is x root 2, right? Okay. Now, that is also equal to the radius of my larger quarter circle which is given as 1 right so from here we can solve for x x is going to be 1 over root 2 which can be written as root 2 over 2 so now i know the radius of the smaller quarter circle okay and now we'll be making some connections here let's go ahead and uh, connect the centers here first of all i'm going to be connecting the centers of the, the circle and the smaller quarter circle this way i'm going to drop a perpendicular here and then what else can I make? Okay, cool. Well, obviously, it's going to help if I can draw a horizontal segment here. So I can use the Pythagorean theorem. That will be super helpful. And then one more connection that I need to make. And as you know, that it's always good to connect the centers of two circles. And we're going to do it with the larger one. So if you go ahead and make another connection here, that will also be very, very helpful. Okay, awesome. And like I promised, I'm going to be, oopsies, I'm going to be uh, sharing these ideas with you in another video, like how to solve these kinds of puzzles, okay? So, I guess we're just kind of in a dead end here because of the eraser. Okay, cool. Now, this is my center of the circle. I know that it's R. This is also R, right? Okay, I know the X. Uh, this will be, so by the way, this could kind of look a little confusing. I guess what I can do is... I can just go ahead and get rid of this diagonal now because I don't need that anymore, right? Let me go ahead and get rid of those lines. Oops, I will need that line. So let me go ahead and draw it again. So we're going to go ahead and need, you're, you're going to use this one. Okay, awesome. I think this looks good. So we have two right triangles here, basically, right? And let's take a look at the lengths. Okay. Now, since we know that from this point to that point, that's the radius uh, of the larger quarter circle, which is 1, this length here, the hypotenuse, is going to be 1 minus r. Okay, that's going to be 1 minus r. We know that this is also r, because that's a rectangle. And then this length, which we don't know what it is, let's go ahead and call that x. We're going to find out what that is in a little bit. Actually, I don't want to call that x, because I already used x. So let me go ahead and use uh, call that a, okay? Because I know that x is something else. Okay, so that's going to be a. And this is also A, obviously. And now what else do I know? Well, this is R, right? Okay, let's go back here to fix it. I know that this is R, and this is going to be X, which is the radius of the smaller quarter circle, as you know. So that's going to give me X plus R. And since this whole thing was X here, uh, this will be X minus R, because I took out the R here at this point. Okay, cool. So now... We do have uh, two right triangles here. I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to go ahead and shade them. Okay. Let's go ahead and shade those right triangles. So that way we can see better. Okay. All right. Those are the two right triangles that I will be using. All right. Let's go ahead and use them. Now, the top one gives me a squared plus x minus r squared is equal to x plus r squared. As you know, the hypotenuse is the sum of the two radii here. And let's go ahead and simplify this. As you know, 
we have a nice identity that we use all the time. If you subtract these two quantities, you're going to get 4xr. And we know that x is equal to root 2 over 2, so I can just go ahead and write this as 2 root 2r. Okay? Awesome. So, that basically gives me a squared, and then let's see what else we can write from here. From the bottom one, we can actually go ahead and uh, use the Pythagorean theorem again, and that's going to give me a squared plus r squared is equal to 1 minus r quantity squared. Okay? Because the hypotenuse is 1 minus r. The whole thing minus the radius of the circle. Awesome. Then we can just go ahead and simplify this by expanding the right-hand side. This is going to be 1 minus 2r plus r squared minus r squared. They cancel out. And from here we get a squared is equal to 1 minus 2r. Isn't that beautiful? I got the a squared twice. This is a squared and that's also a squared. Cool. Then they're equal. If two things are equal to the same thing, then they're equal, meaning that I can safely say, okay, 1 minus 2r is equal to 2 times root 2 times r. Awesome. And I'm trying to solve for r. This is really cool. Let's go ahead and add 2r to both sides. Then it's going to give me this. Then I'm going to go ahead and factor out the r. That's going to give me 2 plus 2 root 2. And if I divide both sides by 2 plus 2 root 2, then I'm going to get the answer. So r is going to equal 1 over 2 plus 2 root 2. And obviously, we can just rationalize the denominator here, multiply by the conjugate, and that's going to give you 2 minus 2 root 2, 2 minus 2 root 2, divided by, okay, when you multiply these two expressions from difference of two squares, you're going to get a squared minus b squared, which is 4 minus 8, okay? And that's going to be a negative 4. So if you go ahead and invert both the numerator and denominator, you're going to be getting something like this, 2 root 2 minus 2 divided by 4. And if you simplify this, you're going to get the answer, root 2 minus 1 divided by 2. So that's going to be the radius of our circle, the green one in the picture, and that's the answer. Okay, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the video. And see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.